Hey everybody, um, I'm just going to make a little review video for you guys, kind of, um, sort of, <laughs> um, and just going to talk a little bit about what I use for skincare and um, my favorite products and what works best for me, and maybe it'll help you guys out a little bit with like buying products or trying new products, or maybe you're trying to figure out what's best for your skin or things like that, so yeah, um, I'm going to start with what I use as a facial wash every day. And I use Alba Botanical and it's natural, even balanced cleansing milk. Now, I use the cleansing gel and the cleansing milk. Um, this one I use, seeing how it's getting closer to winter and my skin gets a little bit drier in the winter. Um, so I need something that's not quite as deep cleaning. Um, these are great. They're all organic. Um, they're hypoallergenic. They have no parabens, no artificial colors, no phthalates, no sodium laurel or lorth sulfates. And, and they don't have any sulfates at all in them. And, of course, there's no animal testing and things like that. Um... I'll put the link to where you can buy all these products down in the box below. So, yeah, um, I really like this one. This is what I use every day. I'll talk a little bit more about it. Alrighty, um, what I like about this product is it's really soft. It's good for my skin. Um, it doesn't make my skin feel dry after I use it. Um, seeing how I have like normal to dry skin and it's more on the dry end of that, um, is he going to say? <laughs> it, it doesn't dry it out, and so I have to be really concerned with products that are going to dry out my skin, seeing how I have dry skin. Um, it doesn't feel like there's a residue on my face after I use it. And it also takes off all of my makeup, too, which is nice, because I can also use it around my eyes. And I just usually put on and then wash my whole face. And I close my eyes, of course. And um, it works really good at removing everything. It makes my skin feel soft. And I don't have to worry about using it because I know that it's good for me. So that's what I use on a regular basis. Um, another wash that I use um, sometimes, if I am like um, need to wash my face, like when I get home from work or after I go to work or things like that, I will um, use this. And this is from Beauty Control. Um, Beauty Control is more of a southern chain, so you might, not all of you might not have heard about it. Um, this is the Purifying Cleansing Lotion. Also, I will have the links where you can buy all these and look at more information about them down below in the box, like I said before. Um, this one is really cool. It's like, again, it's for people with more drier skin. Um, let me see if you can... You can't really see it, but it's like a white. Um, the only thing I don't like about this product is that um, it has a lot of ingredients. Like, if you look at the back, the ingredients list starts right here. And it goes all the way down there. So that is a lot of ingredients. And they're not close to being natural at all. And there's a lot of, like, acids and things in here, which I tend to stay away from because... Like I said, I have drier skin in there. It's a little bit more sensitive. So a lot of times it'll make me like have an allergic reaction or I'll break out to it. But this has not, I have not had a problem with this product at all for that. But like I said, I don't use this on a regular basis. A lot of it is because of the ingredients aren't very good for me in it. Alrighty. Um, I have my favorite facial scrub, which is my exfoliator. And it's also from Beauty Control. And it's part of their Skin Logics line. Um, it's just their facial scrub. Um, I like this a lot as a facial scrub. I don't use this every day. I use it maybe a couple times a month. Just because I try to exfoliate on a regular basis. But I don't always like to use it because, like I said, I have really sensitive skin. So I don't want to, like, you know damage it at all or having a reaction to anything so um i really like this it's my favorite facial scrub it really cleans good but it, it doesn't feel like scratchy like you're 
scraping your skin and it doesn't hurt at all which a lot of facial scrubs they feel so scratchy you know yeah I don't like that so I try to stay away from that but I really like this one um, my favorite <laughs> I don't really use toners a lot um like I said I have dry skin and toners I just they're not necessary for me because I don't really have a problem with oil at all but I still like to use something on a regular basis that's going to help rid the rest of my dead skin cells and things. Seeing how I don't exfoliate every day like I probably should. Um, but I like to use the Sea Kelp Facial Toner. And this is from Alba too. Alba Botanica, which is the same brand as the facial wash that I use every day. So I use this every day. I love this because... I use this and a lot of times I have to use a toner your face feels like it's dry or like it's tight and you can't like smile or else it's gonna be like yeah I don't like that feeling at all so but that's what I like about this is it doesn't give you that feeling at all it feels really soft and really smooth it doesn't feel dry at all which I just absolutely love and it smells pretty good too yeah so this is the Seek Help Facial Toner by Alba Botanical, and I will put all these listed below and everything too. Um, alrighty, my favorite facial mask, I guess I'll talk about. I This is from Mary Kay, and I do not like Mary Kay's facial products um, at all, pretty much. Um, a few of their moisturizers are pretty good, but other than that, I pretty much don't like Mary Kay at all so but I like this as my um a mask like sometimes if I'll like be having a breakout or in the summer when your skin is just it's so hot out and you just feel so oily I'll use this just to kind of feel clean and this is formula three and it's the clarifying mask um I don't use this a lot but I like it because after I do, it doesn't make my face feel dry or tight. It makes it feel really soft and relaxed. After I use this, I do not put any toner on or any moisturizer. I usually do it before I go to bed. That way, I can just let my skin breathe overnight and relax. And it just kind of, in them, it just it just feels great afterwards. <laughs> so that's my favorite mask. Um, my favorite moisturizer. Okay, this is from First Aid Beauty, and it's the Ultra Repair Cream. I This product is a little bit more expensive than I usually go for, for especially for a moisturizer, but it is so good for you. Like, okay, this is um, a skin protectant with antioxidant booster and things, and I, when I first... I got a sample of this when I bought my Sephora um, holiday collection palette, the really big one from 2010. Yeah, I got a sample of this and I used it because I ran out of my moisturizer and I was kind of like, oh, I'm not going to like this. It doesn't look like I'd like it that much. And I fell in love with it. I could not stop using it. After I used a sample, I tried to switch back to my other moisturizer and I completely hated it then. This has ruined like all of the moisturizers for me. I went to Sephora this past summer to get some more of this and the guy that helped me there was like oh well you could switch to a different one because this is a pretty thick heavy moisturizer and for the summer when it's hot and sticky you don't really want that but I was like no I'll just stick to this because I seriously cannot get myself hooked on any other moisturizer because I love this so much um I use this once a day and it completely makes my skin just like soft and smooth and doesn't make my skin feel like stiff like I said it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel like it just it, this product is hands down my favorite facial product ever of all time period ever alrighty so I think that's all for skin products for just your skin um i want to talk a little bit about my favorite makeup removers my favorite rem makeup remover as in for my entire face would be from physicians formula 
and it's the Organic Wear Facial Makeup Remover Lotion. As you can see, it's 100% natural origin. It's also certified organic. And it also has Eco Aromatherapy, which I don't really like how this smells that much, to be honest. I actually don't. It doesn't do anything for me at all, the aromatherapy thing it's got going on. I don't know what it's all about, but I don't really like it that much. Um, it's got like it's got no chemical like harsh chemicals, no synthetic dyes or flavors, obviously. <laughs> you wouldn't be eating it. Um, no colors, no animal testing, things like that. Um I absolutely love this to death. I can't like this is my favorite makeup remover for everything. Um I, I think it says you're not supposed to put it by your eyes. I'm not sure, but I just put it all over, kind of. But I don't open my eyes, or, like, I don't put a lot of it around my eyes. Um, then, um, my favorite eye makeup remover is also the same line from Physician's Formula, and it's their eye makeup remover pads. Um, it has the same, like, little things about it and the whole eco-aromatherapy thing, too. Um, these work so good. They work really good around your eye. Um, also, a little trip is when you run out of eye makeup remover, you don't have any or things like that, you can use olive oil. Um, pretty much everybody has olive oil on hand, at least most of the time, and it works better than any eye makeup remover I've ever used. But if I have to choose a product for it, it would definitely be these. Um, they come in little containers of 60 pads. And like I said, I'll put all the information below about all the products I've showed you today. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for my favorite skincare products for my face. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review video and see you later.